So we started getting ready to sell things, um, kind of collecting things on the porch here, just like bikes and chairs and tools and stuff. It's uh, amazing how much stuff we've got. I can't believe it. Just keeps coming out of places I forgot existed. Barbecue, table saw, this is nice stuff. Um, surprised how hard it is to let go of some things like this ratchet set for example, Craftsman. I just got it. I think I used it once um, and now we're leaving. I used this air compressor once um, for baby scientist video. And here's uh, more stuff in the shed. We got our brand new weed eater that I've used a few times. Brand new lawnmower that I've used a few times. Um, some brand new propane tanks that are overexposed that I haven't used ever. Bunch of garden tools and stuff. Crazy how fast we've accumulated things. Just way too much stuff. And this shed that I spent a bunch of time making. I'll never assemble a shed like this again. Way too much work. Hire somebody to do it. And who knows, you might be leaving it. Anyways, spent hundreds of hours trying to garden in these last few months we just started to let it go because <laughs> planning on leaving and it's way too much work to do for nothing. There are all our grapevines, blackberries along that white fence, our fort that we've built um, has an elevator and everything. You can see that on Baby Scientist. Here are some potatoes and everything. It's just sunk costs all over the place. Here are our brand new tangerine trees. Started spreading mulch. There's our fort with the elevator on the ground right there. And there's the blackberries. It's just all of the trees in our yard. Just the amount of sunk cost is a little sickening. Um, but, you know, the rule of sunk cost is you ignore it. It's, as difficult as it is emotionally, you just got to do it. In the background way over there are the uh, is the duck house and the goose house. We got rid of the ducks already and we got rid of the geese already. Um, that was harder than we thought. They were good animals to us. Here's our little blueberry bush that's starting to get blueberries. We're going to miss out on that. Here's one of our favorite fruit trees. It's a nectarine tree and it's got fruit all over it this year. You kind of see it budding right there. It's going to be so good for whoever buys our house, those lucky ducks. So I'm just hoping to find like some amazing fruit in Costa Rica and we love fresh fruit. One of the things I'd love to do is uh, is pick, climb a coconut tree with my bare hands and feet and pick a fresh coconut and open it up and eat it. And just That would make it all worth it. There's the duck houses and stuff back there. So, yeah, sunk costs are a doozy. Uh, analytically, they make sense. Emotionally, a little harder to deal with. Here's a guava tree that our good friend gave to us and it's just taken off, looking so good. There's our artichoke bush, which is growing. It's gonna give artichokes. And, ah, leaving it. So Kenzie is gonna help show you something we're not gonna miss. These, the dumb gophers, digging holes all over my yard and eating the roots of my trees so I have to hunt them down. Get it, Kenzie. Alright, I won't miss the gophers. Maybe Kenzie will miss the gophers. You gonna miss the gophers, Kenzie? Gopher. That's gross, Kenzie. Hey, Daddy. 